Hello, my friends. I am back. And uh, this video is going to be a bit of a review, but with a slight modification. There we go. This is going to be both a review and kind of a comparison. So I'll make this brief because, you know, this is a very simple saber. This was uh, by Mr. Bucks that I got um, a couple days ago. And it is a uh, Ultra Sabers Aeon V4 in a silver finish. And this saber came with, uh, it came with Obsidian Light Sound, an unlit AV switch, windows, a 32 inch mid-grade blade. And uh, it's a pretty simple design. I like the finish that they did on it. it has a open pommel. First things first, I have ordered a new pommel from the uh, custom saber shop. So this video is kind of going to be a set shout out to the custom sh saber shop. This is a uh, MS uh, modular hilt system, an MHS compatible system. So I have uh, ordered a kind of a Obi Wan Kenobi uh, esque. Uh, pommel for this complete with black cubes to kind of throw off the silver a little bit and I'm considering putting a wrap on here Although I don't know what color yet Probably just black or brown nothing too creative and I was going to run it from here to probably about there So that'll be my first uh, Attempt at doing that so I plan on customizing this a bit and I might even go all rom coda here and put a little bit of a little bit of a fabric-y kind of tassel thing hanging off of here just to just to kind of liven this saber up a bit now i mean i could go in and uh try my hand at some weathering um but i've opted not to do that because uh, i i kind of like the finish as it is it's very very silver and um you know all the uh mystery boxes that i've received were uh, le finishes with the gold uh, anodization in these little bits here and here in fact i have one of these and i'll probably do a comparison video but you know i mean ultra sabers comparison videos of the lower tiers is kind of, are kind of a dime a dozen which is why i use my sonic to do a little bit of a combo and make this worth your while um but this um uh, yeah so this came with uh guardian blue as you can see no flash on clash which is fine and uh, it's a very nice piece. I've, I've grown quite fond of it. There was some um, little bits of uh, machining, little uh, slivers of metal that were kind of kicking around in there. We're starting to rub up against the speaker, so I had to go out and go in there and remove the pommel and kind of dig that out. And uh, so, you know, we've got a, a saber that's in much better condition. So there's that. And uh, here's the competition is the... Uh, Prophecy V3 that I recently uh, received. And this is just a really glorious piece. I, I just absolutely love this hill design. Uh, so much so that if I were to ever get a... If I were to ever get a, an Ultra Saber, and if I had the money to, to kind of blow, which I don't really, uh, on like a diamond controller or something like that, I'd probably get one of these uh, kitted out and, and do a bunch of customizations on it. Um, so as you can see, this, uh, this saber has a 32 inch, uh, custom saber shop show blade, which is my go-to, uh, style of blade. Uh, it's kind of, um, clear and, uh, has a bit of a diffusing film in here. So it gives you a little bit of that, um, Star Wars Rebels kind of effect with the blade illumination, which is why I brought this out to kind of show you as a bit of a comparison to the, uh, the mid-grade blade that uh, Ultra Sabers offers. And, and I do like Ultra Sabers blades as much as the Custom Saber Shop blades. I, I buy them both uh, pretty much equally. Although um, I buy the Ultra Sabers because they do the grab bag blades. And I highly recommend if you're looking to acquire extra blades, you can get two or four, however many you need. Um, I have not received one of their grab bag blades with so much as a, a blemish. Um, they're supposed to be seconds for whatever reason. But their blades are phenomenal. They've all been dead straight. 
Um, I've had little marks here, little spots there. Very, very subtle things, but they're totally worth it. And I highly recommend it. But if you have a saber that you really want to see the glory of the uh, the illumination, the color, uh, really shine. I really like the custom saber shops show blades. Now, those are the only blades that I've uh, purchased from them. They have um, other blades called a Corbin style, which are supposed to have some kind of core system. But I, 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 I've kind of before I invested in those, I wanted to see net result. Um, and there's kind of a, a dearth of videos out there that kind of cover that. Um, but these are comparable blades. They're, they're not really made for heavy dueling. They're made for, you know, they're made to be, you know, for show and for practice. Um, they have a good weight, good balance. And uh, I actually, um, I'm, I'm quite fond of, of both of the styles. But anyway, um, so here's my, uh, my Prophecy V3. Get the uh, little windows here. I really like that. This is my first one with the, uh, the original. Um, little uh little keys that they have here there's actually a allen wrench um uh screw in there and uh, that works independently from the little screw things these are the <laughs> the funny thing is the, the the brass bits here these are just kind of for show and they really do look good av switch been through that has the original uh cover tech wheel with a little uh little cutouts there and i like that so this is a, a wonderful piece and a good foil to this saber so let's turn these on so you can see what you're dealing with so you've got this as you can see you, you kind of you get a little bit of a halo effect on the on the outside and the you know the I, this has fresh batteries in it too they both well this one has the original batteries but whereas the mid-grade kind of gives you more of a full kind of feel more of a solid blue now the blues, the the colors are comparable. The brightness is definitely comparable. It's more about the effect. It's more about the uh, what you're going for. The uh, mid grade, I don't know. It's just more of a solid blade color. Whereas this kind of gives you more like a core kind of look to it. And uh, so you know, it's just a matter of aesthetics, what you like. And uh, now. They both have rounded tips. Uh, that's probably too close. They both have rounded tips. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to bullet tips, but I, I tend to uh, prefer the rounded tips. So. I don't know. What do you think? I like both of them. However, the uh, custom saber shop blades, they're, they're definitely more expensive than the grab bag blades. Um, these typically run anywhere between, uh, I think, based on the size that you get, the length, uh, something like twenty-eight to thirty dollars. I mean, the the you know, based on the length, the, the price doesn't um, alter too much. And um, the custom saber shop, now that they're out of the busy season, um, I ordered, as I said, I ordered a pommel for this, and then you have to order the little cube separately. You can get because um, they're they're designed. The pommel is actually designed to be used by itself. And then you can buy the cube separately, and there's four different styles of cubes: two silver, two black. And the um, the difference between the the two silvers and the two blacks is one of them has little holes in the cubes, and that's um, that's really going to be a nice effect for for this saber, I think. Um, this one um, probably not going to do anything as far as that kind of customization goes, but um, uh, the 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 shipping time for the custom saber shop is. You know, for things that are in stock, anywhere between, they'll ship it to you depending on the time of the year. Um, the the pommel that I ordered for this, they shipped it same day. I'm going to have it on Monday. So three-day turnaround time and a weekend. I mean, these guys, anything you need, the Custom Saber Shop is the place to go. A lot of, um, a lot of people that do installs, um, they get all their parts from the Custom Saber Shop. In fact... Um, uh, one of my favorite uh, Sabersmiths um, custom diversions on the Etsy, on Etsy, Etsy store. It's an Etsy store. Etsy store. <laughs> anyway, um, they uh, they recently they're they're making a saber for me. It's a um, it's a it's a curved hilt saber, and that's got a nano Biscotti V4. They just came in stock. He ordered a bunch. Boom! I'm gonna get an epic saber. It, it's kind of like a. 
I don't know, it's just kind of like this um, neat little relationship between, you know, the people that make the sabers, the people that buy them and collect them, the people that provide the supplies, people that make the fonts. I mean, because the next step, obviously, for that saber, being a Nano Biscay V4, uses three fonts and it's customizable. So I'm gonna have to pick. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick some Dooku fonts for that, and uh, any any other um, you know Sith user. And I'm open to suggestions. If any, here you go. All right, this is. There's another thing. If you have a suggestion for a sound font that's available on the, um, the, the Saber font website that you suggest for my Saber that's compatible with the Nano Biscotti V4, uh, I typically I, I do want at least one Dooku font, but I have room for two others. If you guys give me suggestions as to a, a font that I should use, you know, I'll go check it out and, uh, and see if it fits the bill. And when I do my, my review, I'll give you a shout out. And, um, uh, I think that's pretty much all I had to say on this matter. And, um, well, I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. Um, please, you know, by all means, if you uh, can comment, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to like my videos or dislike them, you got to do what you got to do, man. You just got to do what you got to do. All right. Anyway, one more adjustment. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that works. Anyway, so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, I hope you uh, stay safe, have fun, always have fun, and um, I'll see you later. Bye!